Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, I am Dana Ampasambal po and I will be your nurse for today. Today, sir, I'll be performing a capillary blood glucose test. This test po, sir, is done in order for us to determine and identify your blood glucose level. Uh, sir, this procedure po will require me to prick your finger. Will that be okay? Okay. Okay. Don't worry po because I already washed my hands and I'll perform another hand hygiene in order to prevent spread of microorganisms. Sir, I also close all the curtains to provide you with privacy. So let me prepare the equipment first. In preparing the equipment, first I have to obtain a reagent strip and place it in a clean, dry paper towel because moisture may alter the results. Next is to calibrate the meter and run a control sample according to the manufacturer's instruction. And also I am going to prepare the injector or the lancing device. After preparing the equipment, we may now choose the puncture site. Sir, can you please give me a hand? After choosing the puncture site, we are now going to massage the finger towards the side to improve the blood flow in that area. Next, I am going to clean the site using an antiseptic swab. After cleaning the site, we are now going to proceed with obtaining the specimen. But first, we have to wear gloves. Let me prepare sir, the meter and the strip. Okay. So make sure that the lancet is perpendicular to the puncture site and that we should prick any darting motion. Remember that we have to wipe away the first drop of blood because this usually contains a greater proportion of serious fluid which may alter the results. Sir, I'm now going to prick your finger po. Sir, kindly put pressure po to the side. Thank you. Now we are going to wait until the meter is done in reading the results. Make sure to follow the specific instructions depending on the manufacturer. After obtaining the results, we are now going to document the data in the client's record. Sir, we are now done. Thank you so much for...